Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on influence line diagrams. Let us read the question one time. For the overhanging beam AB shown in the figure, draw the influence lines for the following support reaction for A, support reaction for B, shear force and a bending moment at D, shear force to right of B, bending moment at B, and shear force and a bending moment at E. And finally, the shear force to the left of B. First, we are going to draw DILD for RA. In the previous video, we have seen the derivations, how to get these ordinates. In the point A, the ordinate will be 1. In the point B, the ordinate will be 0. And in the point C, the ordinate will be minus A upon L. Here L is 8 and A is 2. So minus 2 upon 8, we will get minus 0 0.25. Now let us draw the ILD for RB. In the point A, the ordinate will be 0. And in the point B, the ordinate will be 1. And in the point C, the ordinate will be L plus A upon L. L is 8, A is 2, 8 plus 2 upon 8, it will be 10 by 8, 10 by 8 will be 1.25. Now let us draw the ILD for the shear force in the point D. In the point A, the ordinate will be 0. In the point D, there will be two ordinates. The formula to find this ordinate is L minus C upon L. Here L is 8 and Z is 3. 5 by 8 will be 0 0.625. This ordinate is minus C upon L. Here Z is 3. So minus 3 upon 8, it will be minus 0 0.375. In the point B, the ordinate will be 0. And in the point C, the ordinate is minus A upon L. Here A is 2 and L is 8. So minus 2 upon 8, it will be minus 0 0.25. Now let us draw the ILD for MD. In the point A, the ordinate will be 0. In the point D, it will be C into L minus C upon L. C is 3 and L is 8. So 3 into 8 minus 3 upon 8. We will get 1.875. In the point B, the ordinate will be 0. And in the point C, the ordinate is minus AZ upon L. A is 2. So minus 2 into Z is 3 and L is 8. We will get minus 0 0.75. Now let us draw the ILD for the shear force to the right of B. From the point A to the point B, it will be 0. And from the point B to the point C, it will be 1. Now let us draw the ILD for the bending moment in the point B. From the point A to the point B, it will be 0. In the point C, it will be minus A. A is 2, so minus 2. Now let us draw the ILD for the shear force in the point E. From A to E, it will be 0. From E to C, it will be 1. Now let us draw the ILD for the bending moment in the point E. From A to E, it will be 0. And in the point C, it will be minus Z1. Z1 is 1.5. So it will be minus 1.5. 
Now let us draw the ILD for the shear force to the left of B. In the point A, the ordinate will be 0. In the point B, the ordinates will be minus 1 and 0. In the point C, the ordinate will be minus A upon L. So minus 2 upon 8, it will be minus 0 0.25. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.